Hello everyone, here I am with a quite special video for Throwback Thursday. Well, how special, you ask? Because the year is 2021, and 20 years ago this year, Bonacle was introduced. And it, so it's the 20th anniversary of, of one of LEGO's most successful lines ever. So this year is a quite special video honoring that. So with most of the sets that I or the sets that I have reviewed, which if you look in the description is the whole playlist of that, of course. So from the very start of it, 2001, right here, is what introduced everything: cool collectibles, memorable characters, and a story to explore endlessly. And of course. As Universal Curse and Evil, the Makuta, has released various shadows across the, sh the island of Matanui, where the vicious Rahis has came under attack by them, to which they have summoned six great heroes, the Toa, to help fight against the Rahis, and they have won. But then after it was a smash hit of 2001, they had to make another storyline to continue it, with 2002, Invasion of the Borok Swarms, along with, and of course with the Borok Vaz, which were suppliers of the Borok. But with it all in danger, one Matoran, Nuparu, uh, built the Boxor to help combat the Borok Swarms. Meanwhile, our mighty Toa came into the caverns and were rewarded with the Exotoas help fight against them, and then to help beat the Bara Queens, of course, and as it took over them, became the Toa Nuva. And as that continued in 2003, against the Bara Calls, and then the dreaded Rakshis, but as explained in the first actual movie of theirs called The, Len the Mask of Light, of which great old movie it is, to which Rhea found about the seventh Toa, Takanuva. Uh, I was to help fight the Makuta, and they beat them. Oh, wait. End of the Mothnui trilogy. But there was more to learn, like, where the Taraka come from? Why was Mothnui put to sleep in the first place? To which the answer was, with the Metro Nui Saga, which was the prequel saga, 2004, right? And they were Toa forms for them, helped to fight off the Vaki and the Dark Hunters, such as Nadiki, to keeping their city safe. Then, as continuing with rescuing the rest of the Matoran, now trapped by the Visorax, and they themselves caught by the Visorax. Well, as explained in the other two movies, called the Two Legends of Metro Nui and Three The Mask of, or I mean, Web of Shadows, of course. They were mutated to the Toa Hordikas, and at this time, they were introduced to system play sets, so, of course, which ran on for another two years. And then, on with meeting the Toraka, who were previously the Toa Haka, of course. But they luckily got to find the great Kitongu to turn them back to their original Toa forms. And then there it was. With the answer, what was next for it? Since we were all caught up on the storyline, of course. To which then starts the sequel, follow on trilogy, the Ignition trilogy, In Search of the Mask of Life, where vicious creatures, the Paraka, taking over the island of Voyanui, enslaving the Matorans, and then some, to which then some, some Matoran, or a group of Matoran from Matanui, came about, becoming the infamous Toa and Naika, and with a little guidance from Axon, guiding them to the Mask of Life, which then brought them, which then goes into the pit underneath, which Fellow Marimatoran Dekar discovered. 
and then two ways of thinking by the vicious lord 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 lords the baraki and then as the thing and then of course as hydraxon found out about it but he was the heat and then were all beaten by the toa mari which the toa naika became of course but with this one toa matoro which had to sacrifice himself for the great spirit of Mothman by wearing the Mask of Light, which became founded as the Toa Ignica. Then as our original Toa Nuba have become new forms in the new world of Cardinu, caves above, swamp below. Well, and with a little help, from the Avatar to connect to them, but also with the return of Takanuba, which with the shadow leeches drained most of his light, but he stayed more light than before. As for the other ones, both bat like and insect like, the Brotherhood and Kuda were out to do something, but the Toanuba won against them. And then with that, return to Metronuni. But also, while then, Matanui was then awakened, or reawakened, for the first time. But then Makuta took over his body, and then shot out into the universe. So, with, out to another one called Bar Magna, a home of the Glatorians and the Gori. Well, as mentioned in the... Uh, standalone film, The Legend Reborn, to where Mata Nui was on a treacherous journey across it, then finds another uh, large robot body and takes control of it to fight against the great Makuta. While then, in 2010, introduced to the stars, which were the last sets of which even though they were kind of small remakes of existing characters, and we have golden pieces representing the quest for the masks, golden masks, of course, which the great Toa Taki ended up wearing to defeat all the Skrull, Paraka, and Rakshi. And while then, Matanui finally destroyed Makuta and the end of Generation 1. And so. And of course, as many of which were heartbroken, and while the, and of what was called Hero Factory kind of took the part, or took over for that, but, so, but didn't capture the same match that Bonacle did. And to which, of course, it did make some impact on society, on us fans, of course. Wondering if they would ever come back. Then all of a sudden, 2015, it was answered with Generation 2. Well, on a similar quest for the mask, which the uh, Master Toa's on the island of now called Okoto, kind of resembling to that of Matanui, which they, along with the protectors, there's again which were against the Lord Skull Spiders and his army of Skull Spiders. There's two which defeated him, and then on the search of the alternate Matanui, Akimu, I wish to find him and the mask, great masks of power, the mask of creation and mask of control worn by Makuda and Akimu, of course. But never came to be was the mask of ultimate power, of course. And to which, with finding a key, the Toa had to face the vicious uh, skull guys, of course, and then against the Kulta, the skull grinder, and fought the Kimu enough time to strike him down, of course. And then suddenly they upgraded the, the next year into Uniters, of course, which with the simple. So which kind of reminiscent to that of the Generation 1 Nuvas, of course, and to which find the element creatures with the shadow traps. And on another quest to going after uh, Umarak, 
the hunter and then to becoming the destroyer, of course. And they, with the key more, in more better form, fight up against these element beasts and him. Then the Toa use their powers to that to helping destroy all of them and end of generation two. And since then, don't have any. But at least they tried. So therefore, with all of these in together, I think this sewage has come I think the whole series has come a long ways. Bonka well has. And to which I say Happy twentieth anniversary, Bonacle. You have really made an impact for them. Also, these people, I would like to thank you. Also, in terms of Bonacle reviews on YouTube, I hereby thank Nicknack118 for introducing his review on Toa and Ika Nupuru. If it weren't for that, we wouldn't have file or my uncle YouTube today. And also, of course, Makinui and Makuta, rivals, brothers and rivals, since the start. But although there were some others that they are themes of construction that were also sort of like Galador, Knight's Kingdom, etc., but they didn't kick off as well as Bonacle here. And how long they came to be? Came to be? Well, I think they have made a great impact on me and many people. And for all you fans in the audience watching, well, tell me. How did they come about? What does Bonacle mean to you? How will you remember Bonacle? And also, what are your favorite characters and moments of Bonacle, of course? And as Lee Khan says, is follow the light. That we have reached our, our the twentieth anniversary of this great franchise. Let's now wait and see what the future will bring. But new lessons await. But old lessons must be remembered because this is the way of the Bionicle. Oh. And thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And long live Bionicle. And May the three virtues lie within you. Unity, duty, destiny.